man, I look so tourist with this hat on. If you're a princess, this is the spot for you. Well, hell yeah, we want to go to the sports park. You want to see the sports park. Pretty exciting, I'm adventuring tonight. Look at who I got with us! This is pretty cool, they have a nice little market here. check out a Mexican show now that the mariachi band is done so I don't know I'm not really sure what we're gonna see here yep Mexican show. Do we have any Mexicans that are Mexicanos? Dos, dos. Two and the staff. That's it. Dos y el staff. Okay, ¿dónde está la gente? Where's the people from Canada? Okay, they're, they're all in the front row. I like you. I like you. Me gusta. Where's the people from USA? They're all in the back. Todos están atrás. I don't see you. Okay, where's the people from Europe? Uno, one. Where is the people from Asia? Nobody. Asia. Nadie. Uh, one, one, two. Okay, but you're Canadian as well. Okay, we need to talk. Y 
morning. All right, we are strolling around. Man, I look so tourist with this hat on. We are gonna be strolling around the resort today and show you guys what's here. So fun fact, if you're staying at the Platinum Yucatan Princess, you also have access to uh, the other resorts that are on their properties. Now, the Platinum Yucatan Princess is the adults only all-inclusive side, uh, and the other part of it is like more of a family-oriented uh, park, but definitely pretty cool. So we're sitting here right now waiting on a, a little shuttle, which comes about every 10 or 15 minutes, and that'll take you to the rest of the resort. Um, we're going to go check out some of the rest of the resort and check out some of their sports park now, which I think is going to be pretty cool. So if you're interested in seeing the rest of the, the Yucatan Princess resorts, I hope you keep sticking along for this adventure. And if you like it so far, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. All right, our shuttle has arrived. We're on our way. Riviera Princess looks like a very nice resort if you have a family. Um, you know, we chose to stay in the, the Platinum Princess just because of not having a family and it being adults only. Um, but this looks like a really, really nice resort. It's very, very large, which I've said before. Very, very big resort. All right, we just dropped everybody off of the lobby, and we're the only people on the little buggy still. This looks like the. Princess Family Club here. Here we are at the sports park. You see the tennis princess. If you're a princess. You want to come play some tennis? This is the spot for you. I don't know. Some nice tennis courts here. I think they have six tennis courts and maybe two, four basketball courts. Probably recommend if you're going to come play tennis, you may want to do that either in the early morning hours or the afternoon hours because it's. It's toasty when it's like mid-afternoon and you're right under that direct sun. It definitely gets a little toasty. The laugh, even getting on the little buggy here. <laughs> the guy that was driving us was like, you sure you want to go to the sports park today? It's very, very hot. I'm like, hell yeah, we want to go to the sports park. You want to see the sports park. We're going to take you there. If you are a fan of the pickleball, there's some pickleball courts. You can't go wrong with the pickleball. Leave a comment down below. Are you more like a regular tennis fan, a 
pickleball fan. Maybe you're just a table tennis fan. We don't discriminate here. Leave a comment down below. Now this is pretty cool. We even have a little soccer field for you to play on here. I don't recommend you playing barefoot though. This turf, it's hot. All right, so I think we found the other part of the sports park. And this place is pretty cool. They do like paddle boarding, um, archery, batting cages. I think they have a driving range, but here's a paddle boarding part. Might have found mini golf. It says mini golf, but it looks more like a driving range to me. You want to come out, hit some balls. There you go. Whack away. You gonna bring your wife? She doesn't want to whack balls. A nice place for her to sit. If you don't want to play soccer over on the artificial field, they also have some natural grass here that you can play soccer on. Let me tell you, I know it's hot here, but there's like nobody in this park. And that's pretty cool. Those are the things that we like. We like to be able to come, just kind of do our own thing. So, so far, we give this two thumbs up. I think I found a stealth camping spot in Mexico. I think this would be a pretty cool little, little stealth camping spot there. We didn't realize that we were going to be hiking today on our, on our trek. This is pretty fun though. It's a pretty cool little walk. We're slightly lost. Not like lost, lost. Maury says she's not lost. Let's see. Leave a comment down below. Are we lost, lost? We might be. archery I think we found our way into the batting cages. Should have find out how to do it. Oh, 
it turns out we weren't lost. So technically Maury wins. Wow, this is pretty cool. I asked you about ping pong. Alright, here it is. Or if you like pool. They got pool. All in all, pretty cool little sports park. All right, so I saw a dude. I think I found out how to do the batting cages, and we are gonna go there right. All right, well, batting cages, awesome. Definitely a lot of fun. If you come here, check out the batting cages. It's super cool. All right, well, sports park. She got whacked in the face. Sports park is really cool. Uh, at 11 o'clock in the morning, every other day, they alternate between archery and rifle shooting. But we stayed up a little too late last night to be up early for that today. We'll leave tomorrow, so I don't think we'll be back for archery. But... If you stay here, make sure you check out the little action park that they have. It's cool. It's, it's definitely different. Uh, it's nice to be able to just kind of step away from the resort and all the people and come out and have some fun for a little bit. Another cool thing I'll mention, if you don't want to take a buggy around here and you don't want to walk around here, they do have bicycles that you can borrow and kind of ride all around the resort, which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I should said they have a little bit more shops over here than on our side. All right, so there's actually four resorts then I believe on here because there is the Platinum Riviera, there's the Platinum Yucatan Princess, which we're on, there's the Grand Riviera Princess, which is on this side, and then there's the Grand Sunset Princess, which is all over on this side. So far I have to say, I think like just the overall look on this side looks like a little kind of nicer than, than where we're staying but um, this is a family resort here we got the kiddos but it's very pretty I'd say each one of these resorts has their own little thing that makes it special and unique. Point being is, if you want to stay in the Princess Resorts, check them out. Very affordable. Food's pretty decent overall. Just a super nice place. These little huts that they have over here are available too and then they have like an adults only section i think the huts are adults only and they have like an adults only pool in the middle of it Those villas are cool.
It took us four days. But we finally found the spot that Maury's been waiting to go this entire time. And it looks like it's going to be over here to the right. To the kids club. I didn't able to pool hopping. It's really, really hot. So by pool hopping, when it gets too hot, you cruise around the pools. Maybe get a drink. But the important part is you hop in the pool and you cool off nice and proper before you continue on your adventure. If you're in an all-inclusive pool hop, bar hop, pool hop, lots and lots of fun. I think I'm done here though. I'm gonna move on to the next one. So we got a little bit of Spider-Man over on this side too. And then we got the big party bar here. It's a little bit bigger than ours. There are a lot more pools over here. Over on our side, most of the pools are like swim out rooms. On this side, they have swim out rooms, but the majority of the pools are like big pools for everybody to swim in. There's a lot of them everywhere you look. Looks <laughs> like they have some more animals over here too. The Cody's are funny. These things crack me up, man. I absolutely love them. They're cool. A lot of other people, they're not as interested as much. All right, right here, if you keep going straight, on that way, you get down to the beach. If you make a left, then you head back over to our resort. But not without another big pool. And another big pool bar. Gotta love it, man. They're everywhere. They have a buffet here. These swim out rooms over here are kind of cool. They have like their own little, their own little things that you can put in the pool. Right there. Yeah. Have like their own little uh, like beds and tables this inside the pool, which is really neat. All right, well, we explored enough for right now. We're hot, we're getting hungry. We're gonna head back, jump in our own pool. We've been in quite a few other pools. I don't know if you've seen them. I didn't always have my phone or camera on me, but we're gonna go hop in our own pool now. time in Mexico is coming to an end and that kind of sucks oh Chris from the future here Whew. the hell of a journey just realized while I was editing this video as you can see we are not in Mexico anymore we are home unfortunately we are home 
But I realized I didn't really say a whole lot about the resort, and the resort was awesome. So I figured I would just hop in here, give you kind of a quick what we thought about it. You know, um, this was our first time leaving the country, uh, and we had an awesome time. You know, it was really cool. The resort was really cool. The people there were super friendly. Uh, you know, everyone went out of their way to make you feel like you were welcome there. Um, the food, you know, we were a little skeptical because a lot of people said that the food was hit or miss, um, you know, but I'll be honest with you at the restaurants that we ate at, um, you know, I'll, I'll put some stuff up here because we ate at the hibachi restaurant the one day. Uh, we didn't do the, the teppanyaki part of it or the hibachi part. We just did, uh, you know, the regular meal. Um, but I had the beef curry and it was absolutely delicious. I'll put some pictures up here um, as well as, you know, what Maury had. Um, their sushi, I'm not a huge fan of sushi. And believe it or not, um, I love the sushi there. Uh, you know, they had like this pretty cool little sushi train that just kind of wrapped around. Um, and and it was really good. They had like dessert sushis too, which was, was really good. Um, you know, but all in all, I would say that that experience was really cool. Um, you know, great place. Kind of wish we would have done the, uh, the, the teppanyaki part of it, but, um, you needed to get reservations for that. And we were just having a little too fun doing other stuff to be able to get there and get a reservation. Uh, so we decided we were just going to do the regular meal, but, um, the buffet seems to be like a massive topic of conversation and for a good reason. Um, it's hit or miss. You know, Maury was not a fan of it. I was not a fan of it. You know, when we got there from the airport, uh, we got there like 11 o'clock and you can't check in till three. Uh, but the cool thing about this resort is, is they do give you your all-inclusive wristbands. So you have access to the property, but all the resorts um, and your eat, your food and drinks. So um, we didn't really know the lay of the land yet. So the first thing we did, we were really hungry. Uh, you know, we got up around three o'clock Eastern Standard Time uh, to make sure we made it to Philly to catch our flight. Um, and, and like I said, by the time we got there, it was like 11 o'clock and, and, uh, we, we were hungry, you know, we didn't eat up until that point. So we, we just wanted a buffet. We wanted something quick and, and simple and, um, simple it was, uh, you know, it was kind of like right in between their, their meal time. So I think it's kind of like their snack buffet, uh, which they had decent options. It's just honestly, to me, um, the biggest thing was the food was cold um outside of that like i can't really complain it's just the food wasn't that warm um you know they had decent options um and then that was okay to me um options were probably a little more so limited to mori um and the way that they have like their menu set up and what is what within the buffet table um is kind of unique so um a little difficult to understand at times but all in all not bad um, we ended up going back another night because you do have to dress up to go out to eat. And we had already packed everything up and, and, uh, we had an early flight out in the morning. So we kind of had everything already packed up and ready to go. Um, and we decided, you know what, I don't want to unpack to get dressed to go back out to eat again, which I'm, I'm going to get to that here in a second. But, uh, we ended up just deciding, Hey, you know what, let's go to the buffet again and, and we'll just get something to eat. Like, you know, we just want to eat something light anyway. And, um, the food was good. <laughs> like, honestly, the, the selections were great. Um, you know, Maury is more so like a pescatarian. Um, and they had a lot of nice options for her there. Uh, the food was hot. It was coming out quick. Um, and the, the bar that you can go to, like, they, they have, like, a hot bar there where they make you food. Um, and I don't remember 100% what it was that they had on a hot bar that night. But, uh, you know, every, all in all, everything looked good. Like, I can't complain about it. Um, my choice for was, was the breakfast. Um, the breakfast buffet there was really decent. Uh, I like to go over to like that little hot table there where the guy was cooking food and, and get an omelet in the morning or, you know, just have him cook some type of eggs for us. But, you know, as far as what the, uh, the breakfast buffet is, it's just kind of, of any standard breakfast buffet really. But, uh, you know, I would say if, if I had to complain about anything and, and I'll be honest with you, um, you know, we did a lot of research coming here and there are a lot of people who enjoy complaining. Um, we're not so much that, you know, we want to go and we want to have a good time. We want to have fun. And I can't tell you really anything that there was a complaint about. Um, the dress code to me was, was about if I had to mention anything, which hey, I do, I am, <laughs> uh, would be the dress code. And I just think, you know, I, I don't disagree with it. You know, you, you should take pride in going and spending a lot of money to go on vacation and, and dress up and, and treat yourself. And, and, you know, it's good to treat yourself. Um, and, and it's good to dress up. It's, it's nice to be able to 
to treat yourself to go out to eat dinner. So I don't disagree with, with the dress code. The problem that I have with the dress code is uh, you, you can see in the one clip where Maury's wearing a dress and um, you can see just a little bit of her, she had a red bathing suit on. And um, really you can't differentiate between whether it's a bathing suit or a bra, um, but they wanted to make her go back and change because they said it looked like she just had a cover over her bathing suit. So um, she tucked it in, the lady let her in. No issues, that's fine, I get it. Yeah, she's doing her job. Everybody has a job to do. Um, but then on the other hand, you know, men are supposed to wear dress pants and dress shoes. Um, and then we see people come in with workout clothes on, like no collared shirt, just a t-shirt and sweatpants and, and gym shoes, um, you know, or men are not allowed to wear shorts, whether they're dress shorts, um, you know, your men are not allowed to wear them. And, and like I said, it was really hot, uh, you know, so <laughs> we were sitting there eating and then they allow females to come in with shorts on. And, uh, you know, by shorts, I mean, just like blue jean shorts with holes in them and nothing dressy, nothing fancy about it. So I, I just feel like I'm not complaining. I don't care what other people do. It does not hinder my experience. You know, Maury and I, we worry about ourselves. Um, but I could see that irritating people, you know, um, I feel like if you're going to have the policy, you got to draw the line in the sand. All in all, Platinum Yucatan Princess is an awesome resort. Um, I wish we probably would have done a little bit more digging into the other sister resorts that are on the same property. My opinion of them, I, I just think the layout was a little bit nicer. Um, you know, it, it is a family resort, so, you know, you do have more kids. Um, but overall I felt like there was just probably more to do. Um, definitely a lot more pools. Uh, but you know, it, I think even visually it was, it was a little more visually appealing too than, than what the Platinum Yucatan Princess was. Um, you know, there was just a lot of cool scenic things to see, but, um, yeah, I, I all in all, you know, look, like I said before, this was our first time out of the country. It was the first time going to an all exclusive resort. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment down below. Um, you know, obviously, I'm not going to sit here and blabber. I'm, I'm already nine minutes into this. So um, if you guys have any questions on anything that you've seen in either of the videos, uh, you know, don't be afraid to drop a comment down below. Shoot us an email. We'll gladly tell you that. And if you liked us doing international travel, leave a comment down below. Where do you want us to go? What do you want to see? Because skies are the limits, and I think you're going to start to see some more traveling on this, this channel as well, because we had an awesome time. And, uh, you know, it's just really cool to do. It's it's a lot of fun. So, uh, you know, we're still going to be doing some truck camping and, and other camping and, and just a whole bunch of different adventures. So, uh, you know, we appreciate you guys, and we're certainly glad that you stuck around here this long so far. Um, you know, so if you have and you still listen to me blabber, thumbs up. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Most importantly, though, we are going to send you back to Mexico to get out of here and end this thing. But we had an awesome time here. You know, I've kind of grown up with a stigma around coming to Mexico. Um, and I can tell you there's nothing to be afraid of. You know, Mexico was an awesome place. We had such an amazing time here. The culture is really cool. The people are uber friendly and everybody here really just kind of goes out of their way to make sure that you're having an awesome time. If you've ever wondered about coming here, or you've ever really wanted to come here, book the flight, make the trip, make the reservation, get down to Mexico and just have an awesome, awesome time. You will not go wrong. Um, pick an all-inclusive too. All-inclusive is the way to go. And if you can get a swim out room, do it, splurge get the swim out room. I don't know if we will ever be able to go to one of these again without a swim out room. We are spoiled. Absolutely awesome. So again, I think that's going to wrap it up for this week's adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Consider hitting that subscribe button down below and we'll see you on our next adventure.